Hello and welcome to Why I Love Warhammer, the series where I go into an unscripted ramble about why I love something in this hobby. And on this episode, it is the Ideneth Deepkin. Uh, before we continue, let's um, just take a quick moment to shout out our channel members. For uh, We have uh, Richie, we have Shri, we have Dried Shroom, and we have Ash. Thank you very much for your support. If you want to keep this channel going for more unbridled positivity, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. So, Ideneth Deepkin. These are the undersea elves from the Age of Sigma world. And they have... They're, they're, they're weirdly emblematic of just like how a lot of Age of Sigma functions, where they'll have... like they, They'll start out with just like a few units that you can build in a few different ways. And then you can build up the force from there. But let's start with possibly the greatest model in this range, which is the Achillean Leviadon. Uh, I just love this thing. It's a huge turtle. Uh, there are a few different ways you can build this guy, a few different paint jobs out there, but the Leviadon is just a phenomenal creature. And in at least in the current rule set, I say, say this, this video is going to go out um, like the day before Adepticon, where I'm convinced they're going to reveal Age of Sigma 4, where these rules could all change. But um, if you have, if your army is uh, Nautilar, um, if you select that as your kind of sub faction, then these guys are battle line, which means you're not limited to four beer moths. You can have like as many as you need. So yeah, an all Leviadon army plus one general is entirely possible. So very happy about that. I just think this giant turtle is awesome looking, and. Yeah, if something's awesome looking, I'm going to like it regardless of its stats. Okay, so these guys riding the eels. Um, okay, these are the ones that have... So these are the Achillean Morsar Guard. Um, I just think the eels look really cool. Um, you'll notice through this video I talk more about the fish than I do the, the people on top. Because, you know, elves are basically cool. But... The question becomes, well, what's the difference between these elves and other elves? And, you know, the law is different, the, the the overall aesthetic is different, but they're, they're still elves. So, the fish are what really makes them distinctive, to kind of, at first glance. If you want to, if you want to pitch two different types of elves to someone who doesn't know the hobby, you're going to say, these elves ride, f these elves are stuck in trees, these elves ride fish and you know the, these elves are mountainous and have a lot of cow aesthetics right that's how you distinguish them um so i'm going to talk about the fish a lot more than i talk about the elves themselves that said i love these very fish fisherman spears i think those are very well done okay uh this guy is is this the, yeah uh volturnos um I love this seahorse guy. I think it's a seahorse. It's like a seahorse meets sea dragon meets sea unicorn. The scales are beautiful. I love these dinosaur-like hands. And again, they've done the thing where they've got the multiple tails that are on the base, connecting it to the base. But it's they look dainty enough where you still get this illusion of floating. And for a sea-based faction, that's so important to have. Okay, it was only a certain amount of time before these guys were going to come up, right? The Elthian Soul Raid, and... Okay, so, I'll be honest, I jumped on the meme. Who didn't? The, the crab? The crab is glorious. Who doesn't love the crab? But before the meme, I was pretty enamored by this fish and by this eel. Also the crab. But I loved all the animal companions. So I love the crab, but also the fish and the eel. The eel, I don't think, ever got enough spotlight. He wasn't his own unit. And I think it's just a really cute looking eel. But yeah, the crab... Um, so for those who don't know, um, the when this was revealed, the crab became an instant meme. And to the point where when Games Workshop did the what's the best miniature we've, re we've released this year... 
uh, the crab came second. There was a concerted effort by a few online communities to make the crab number one. And there are people who have suggested that this crab and its popularity very much accelerated the kind of the cutification of Warhammer as an overall thing. Okay, um, I think these ones are the Ish uh, the the, the Ishlayan Guard. Again, the other eels. Again, I just think the eels look really cool. They are phenomenal looking sculpts, and I I love the fact they didn't cow they they weren't cowards. They gave them flying bases, and they're like they're they're curvy and springy, and it really adds to the aesthetic somehow. And sometimes I don't know that it, I don't know why they opt for a. Uh, for, a, for a flying stand that's curved rather than a straight flying stand. But here it feels like it adds to the aesthetic. And I really appreciate that. This guy rides a shark. I feel like I shouldn't need to say more about the Achillean uh, Alapexes. But they're riding a shark. They're riding a shark. If you want to just snip... The, those words, they're riding a shark, and loop that for the next three hours, you'll get something to approximately me trying to justify why this is so cool. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's a cool looking sword. This undersea harpoon gatling gun is freaking awesome. I enjoy this crab down, this hermit crab down here. That's really cool. But they're riding a shark. They're riding a shark! It's so cool! I'm surprised they didn't leap on this aesthetic of the, the undersea elves far sooner. Because the moment you pitch to people like me, yeah, we're going to have these people and they're riding a shark. You've won. You've become one of the coolest factions to exist. I'm sorry, Skaven. I know you're really awesome, I know the guy who uploaded this video has 2,000 points of Skaven, but are you riding a shark? Hello Stormcast Eternals, you may have an enormous range of dragons and griffhounds, but are you riding a shark? Hello Sons of Behemoth, second Age of Sigmar video this channel ever did. I know you're god awesome giants that give people, and ho who give hobbyists a, a really good chance to flex their muscles and really practice with skin tones, but are you riding a shark? Hello beasts of chaos, you may have enormous variety, but are you riding a shark? Yeah. I, I, didn't, re I didn't really think about this model too much before I started recording, but I'm hung up on this now. They're riding a shark. <laughs> how can that, how is that not just the coolest thing? They're riding a shark. Okay, I'm gonna move on because I've spent probably fifteen percent of this entire video's runtime just talking about this guy. And we've got I think there's like nine more models to cover, but don't quote me on that. Okay. Now we're back to a, another standard leader unit, Isharan Soul Render. Um <clears throat> I think to be honest, it's the swordfish. I think it's really cool looking. It's a neat pose. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a slightly modified fi uh, file from one of the Eldari models in 40k. But I like the swordfish. I like how the swordfish is only connected to the rest of the model by this, uh, by the headpiece. So it looks like it's its own free swimming agent. But look at it. It looks like, it looks like an enemy from like Zelda or Banjo Kazooie or something. And I mean that as praise. Look at it! It's awesome looking! Okay, this guy. Uh, this one... Sorry, there's like two different models that ha that, that look very similar. Because there's... Um, yeah, that there's Eidolon of Mathlon Aspect of the Sea, and Eidolon of Mathlon Aspect of the Storm. And I think this guy... Yeah, this one's the Aspect of the Sea. And to be honest, this one... It looks like so much fun to paint with this genuine waterfall effect going on here. But... 
Okay, I could spend this entire time talking about the awesomeness of the waterfall, how he's floating, this amazing battle pose that looks like it's a superhero pose, this gorgeous trident, this phenomenal scepter, this headpiece, and all of that's true, but it's not why I love this model. I love this model for the fish, the ray, the seahorse, this thing, and this hermit sh and, and this hermit crab turtle. I love the animal companions. Is it shallow? Maybe. Is it missing the point? Probably. But I love the animal companions, and I love this ray, and I love these fish. But like I say, everything I said before is also true. The gorgeous waterfall, the dynamic action hero pose, the weaponry, this headpiece, phenomenal. Okay, and then, yeah, this one, um, the of the storm. Again, animal companions, look at this squid thing. Look at the, look at the Dunkleostes. Glorious. Look at this eel. And they're probably, they're, they're the same box, right? You buy one, you've bought either. So you could probably swap out your animal companions at will. And you've got a lot more variation in your leader units. Okay, Lotan, and honestly, and so, okay, if you've got the Age of Sigma app, right, this is the lore you get. I'm going to read this verbatim. Lotan is, the... let's do it, let's do an epic voice. <clears throat> Lotan is the warden of the soul ledgers, whose task it is to oversee the reaping of spirit essences across the enclaves. Such is the force of Lotan's willpower, that nearby Ideneth fight with redoubled determination in his presence. You know what that doesn't tell me? You know what that doesn't tell you? Is Lotan the elf, or is Lotan the octopus? Because both are equally likely, I don't know what answer I think is more fun. So, this octopus is freaking awesome, right? Octopi are raising, super intelligent, and... Uh, getting more social with, as time progresses. <laughs> they just don't live very long. Um, <clears throat> but look at the knife he's holding. That's glorious. And this cool battle mace, I think, is brilliant. He's holding scrolls. <clears throat> he's reading. He's smart. Glorious. The animal companion <clears throat> does take a little bit too much up at the base. This this random elf-looking dude, but Lothan himself, is glorious. And... No, I don't know if I'm making a very dry, elaborate joke about that, or if I'm being deathly serious. Okay, so now we get to your standard battle line units. And these guys are the Namati Thralls. Uh, just your bog standard infantry, they look like Dark Elves. Um, you know, they're a bit scary looking, they look a bit like um, not a popular... Possibly the least popular film in a in an increasingly less popular series, but uh, Christopher Eccleston's character in Thor: To the Dark World, um, the, the the MCU's version of Malekith, they look a bit like him. And whatever you think of that movie, I think that these you know, these Ironeth Deepkin looking like that is no bad thing. They look cool, and in the battle line unit, you know, it works. And I think, again, they've got the right bit mix of they're really cool, unique poses, so they don't feel too generic, but they're not so unique that if you have four boxes, you're going to notice the repetition too much. I think that's the the good balance. If you've got, if you have an army that doesn't, isn't supposed to be rank and file in that way, I think that's the right balance to strike. So I've got Enormous praise for the design of this unit. Okay, and the Isherin Tide Caster. To be honest, I again I'm in this for the Animal Companion. It's well sculpted. It's got some good presence to it. The 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 tactical rock that she's stepping on, I think, looks really cool as a rock. It kind of it's kind of that like ancient temple ruins aesthetic to it. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get too badly wrong. Really, I like the Animal Companion. I like the Animal Companion for this one. Again, um, same kind of deal. Animal Companion is what I'm here for. Uh, for the Achillean Thrallmaster. Um, again, I think he looks cool. 
but I, I like his fish spear. I think that's really cool. I think his dynamic pose. I, I love the facial expression, that scowl. But I love the eel. The eel is why I'm here. Okay, here we have the other main battle line unit. These are the Reavers. Sorry, the Reavers were the other ones. These ones are the Thralls with the melee weapons. Everything I said about the Reavers when I meant the Thralls applies to actually the Thralls. Okay, final unit is the terrain piece. This ship I just think looks glorious and I, I, I love the terrain that Age of Sigmar has put forward and I love how this one is just a shipwreck. It just looks like it'd be enormously good fun to paint. These kind of the ghostly vibe with the coral slowly creeping over. And yeah, it's just really beautiful looking. And I think it would really, it really adds something to the battlefield if it's put in place. It's just well sculpted and it just fits the... It, what, what I like with it is that it doesn't look like the Ideneth Deepkin built it. It looked like, it looks to me like they've co-opted it. Now, maybe that's a gross misunderstanding of the law. If I have misunderstood the law, please correct me in the comments. But yeah, I just think it looks glorious. It looks like it's been reclaimed by the army, which is glorious to me. Love how they've painted it. I love, I love the ghosty vibe. But yeah, that's, that's, that's the terrain piece for the Ideneth. So that brings us to the end of the video. And just me loving the Iron Death Deepkin. It took me so long to not pronounce them the Iron Death Deepkin. Uh, I just mixed up the last or um, or the Iron Death. Yeah, Iron Death. Um, Ideneth. Took me a long time to get that pronunciation through my head. Ideneth Deepkin. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, do you love the Ideneth Deepkin? If so, let me know in the comment. If not, why not? Tell me in the comment. I do read them all, and I do love reading them. So thank you very much for that. If you want to hit the like button to keep the algorithm happy and subscribe for more positivity about the hobby in your feeds. Uh, links in the description, memberships open, all that good stuff. Until next time, I, yeah, I, I will see you in the next video and I hope you're all having a really good day.